Patricia. Billy, if you'd pull up the video, please. Um, Patricia McPherson, Grassroots Coalition. Um, I'm here to speak to Biona Wetlands and the drains as well today. I have both good news for you and bad news. Um, the video will be showing the drainage that is occurring on Biona Wetlands right now. This has been going on every day during the rainy season that we have. This is all just taking the water from the freshwater marsh and sending it all out into the ocean via the Biona Channel. The good news that I'm about to show you is that this is the freshwater marsh, and I would like to say thank you so much, Coastal Commissioners, for stopping the drainage through those illegal drains, for restoring the rainwater ponding that is north of Jefferson, and together we can stop all of the freshwater drainage of the Biona wetlands. This is the area where uh, one of the cap drains is, and you can see that it is ponding up, something which the Department of Fish and Wildlife told you that could never occur unless it came from the freshwater marsh, which there's the freshwater marsh, and no, it's not from the freshwater marsh. It's from the drains, or it's from the rainfall now that the drain is capped. This slide shows you all of the ponding that is happening all across Biona now because in those areas where the drains are capped. And I'll go back here and you can see to the right where the two little red circles are at the top are the two capped drains. That whole area is now ponding with all of this fresh water and you have the birds utilizing it as you see in these photographs right there. This is also an area that um, the private business, the Bay Foundation, and the Santa Monica Bay Restoration Commission were a part of creating the DEIR for Playa Vista. This area was not included. They know full well of it. I showed you the uh, email correspondence, even discussing, discussing the what I believe is a Clean Water Act violation because the water from the channel backs up into those drains, and it did, and, and released tide water into the Biona wetlands for the past 20 years. None of this is in the DEIR. Ms. Luce was aware of this um, and never addressed this issue. And ultimately, I would like that, to see that Ms. Luce be recused from anything having to do with Biona wetlands, and we'll get to that later. To move on, there's the drain that you just saw in the video, and the area there with the little blue is the outflow area where all of this water could and should be going to Biona wetlands. This is not about paying for more water. This is simply putting the water where it was supposed to go all along. The CDP 5-91-463 never allowed for this freshwater marsh system to harm Biona. And in fact, as I agree with uh, enforcement's Lisa Hagee, putting a drain in a wetland is exactly the opposite of something you would do. And all of this water is being diverted and thrown away out into the ocean. And here you can see the drain there at the top, the water in the marsh, and the water to the left, which is the uh, overflow area designed for the overflow that is dry there because it's being diverted through that drain out to the ocean. The other thing I'd like to talk to you about is the bad news, the drains. Um, by the way, um, Commissioner Peskin, you had brought up uh, concerns with regard to the Native Americans, and I would like to let you know that Tatton, which is the Native American, uh, John Tommy Rosas, who is the authority for the site, I was going to, I will tell you again on item five what Tatton stands for. It's the tribal authority that he represents. And they agree with Grassroots Coalition that the CDP process for the removal of the drains is something with which he agrees to have happen. Regarding what happened with regard to staff's language in the CDP, staff usurped the authority of the commission by altering the decision made by the commissioners in 2017 to remove those drains. And several of you, Commissioner Brownsey, Commissioner Peskin, were concerned that perhaps you should have added other language. But a CDP is the same as CEQA. That means that, like CEQA, a CDP requires 
consideration of alternatives. They have to be analyzed. That's a given. So the language that you provided in 2017 stating to remove those drains, provide an application to remove those drains in six months, already came with the given fact that there would be alternatives provided. But because staff set, has set horrible precedents for this commission, from here on out, we will never know if staff is going to alter the language of a commission decision from here on out. And right now, the commission cannot enforce the CDP as it is written now by staff. In fact, it is grassroots coalition that will once again have to sue to enforce that your decision made in 2017. Unless you simply tell staff to make the, the, the language of the CDP comport with what you stated. And that's all that you need to do. That's all that you need to do. That's okay. all that you need to do. Because okay. we will never get an alternative that is remove the, uh, we will never get remove the drains. It's as simple as that. Thank they you. will drag their feet. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.